Hello everyone, this is Roland. I just want to show you a little bit about the ePlan Smart Wiring. So on one side, ePlan Smart Wiring comes with the ePlan Smart Wiring licensing. Typically, this is a network license, and typically when you are on this here, um, if you haven't really connected yet, you have to connect here to the license manager. The license manager is actually the name of your server where the ELM is installed. Once this is there, you should see the different licenses. I often go here with the license I need. I tick off the show all and I find my ePlan smart bar. Here I now select the selection mode, always use the selected license, which opens this license. Now, in parallel, behind the scene, what you have to know is there is somewhere on a server, I'm running it here local, but typically this is on a server, we run the ePlan smart wiring. So the ePlan smart wiring is actually running like this here, most likely as a service, and it actually is connectable through the IP address. In the past, we had a small icon in version 2.9 where you could double click for the smart wiring client and then connect to this address and port nowadays in version 2. In, in 2022 what we do is we just type in the address like this 168 as you can see on the left hand side dot zero dot one one eight we add the port we're interested in and we connect to smart wiring as we connect to smart wiring, we actually sign in as our name. This is to register which wires we will be doing, installing, and landing. So of course, typically, I will either continue an existing project or open an existing project. So if I continue the work that somebody else has already done on a specific project, I can do so. And I'm going to open basically this instance here we can see we have a certain number of wires that have been installed status installed with green the status here has and can be sorted right and of course anything that is a red dot like this is not yet installed and the idea is okay where is the cb208 pin 4 where is the transformer or t2010 how do i get from one to another and if I want to display the whole thing, I can see here the whole thing. It's going to zoom in and it's going to show you where the path is exactly. The length I have to cut is exactly one meter, 52 centimeters. And the wire number I'm going to assign is 209. So once I finished one side, I can simply click on here and it will tell me that I've done this side. And then, of course, I go along. I just move along here my wire, get in here, and of course, when I'm finished, I'm done on this wire. Let's see for the next wire. The next wire starts from here, goes there, and how do we go from one side, let's say this guy to the other side, just to see the whole block, we can see it. So we can now really uh, start here. We start, we cut a wire that exactly has one meter in a little bit more than 10 centimeters. That's very precise here. The wire number is 205 minus 2. I crimp both sides and now I want to see how do I move from one side to another. I just go on this device here and I hook it up. Boom. And as you've done it, you can actually then continue and jump right away to the next object. See how it's actually wired up like this. You start with this one or the other one doesn't really matter so if you need more details you can go in here and check out the details more in detail and see exactly how the wiring is done right so here zoom out zoom in uh, rotate if you need to move it a little bit uh, you can <laughs> see <coughs> when you're finished just come back here you can even if you want to see the schematics for this particular wire you can actually look at the schematics Take a look at the schematics. You can see here is my object. Here's my next object. Of course, I'm playing around in these wires here. Okay. So here I was connecting actually pin four to L2. So it was a second line. Perfect. And as I move forward, I start wiring up. 
I wire the next one and so on and so forth. So this is really how I do this. I have up here the possibility to actually see cables versus wires. I can sort run like a, a sorting on the source and the targets. So this way I'm not cruising around in that whole project too much. I could also place all the colors together. So what that does, it actually sorts by colors, makes it a little bit easier actually to do the insulation so I don't have to flip my wires too much around. Uh, same thing for the crimping tools. So there are different ways to optimize the way you work with this tool here. This is ePlan Smart Wiring. Of course, connecting to the Smart Wiring server, which is on the server. Coming back to ePlan, just forgot something here. If we go back to our uh, ePlan smart wiring, what do we have to know about this in the background? Not only that it actually runs off of that address and on that port, but what do we have to know here? So here, if <coughs> you go to the <coughs> administration set settings, the most important thing that you have to think about is here, the folder under which you will dump the files. Because this folder is quite important. This is where you will dump the files from ePlan for anyone to actually start any given project. So again, what I create is a shareable uh, folder that once you are in ePlan, and this can be on a different station, of course, because here I'm uh, <coughs> showing you actually the smart wiring smart wiring is really something that i personally would put on a nice windows tablet uh, with a very good touch screen or if it's actually a combination of a touch screen this is my favorite one close to the um, electrician so we can work with it have a very nice view touch screen why because the whole application has been really optimized for finger tipping and for zooming in and everything. So ePlan smart wiring is for the electrician. Now, of course, where does the data come from? It comes from ePlan. It comes from ePlan once you have routed your project. So if I take any given project inside ePlan, I've done my digital twin and I did run my routing, I have wires with source, target and length, exactly the detail that I need. But to make that accessible to smart wiring, I have to export the data into that smart wiring folder. So nothing really complex here. It's quite easy. Once you are in ePlan, I'm not going to show you too much about the ePlan side, but I am assuming that the ePlan project is complete. Uh, it has been corrected. We have checked everything that we need on the schematic side. We have checked everything on this side here we have routed the wires we have checked that the wires are routed properly so that means basically that they actually go to all their devices they go in where we expect them to go in and they are also sorted as we want i'm not going to go to these details how do i now make this ready for wiring so all i have to do here is go to the file export wiring smart wiring and it will simply save this project into my smart wiring. This is how I, here on this side, I went simply into the open project here, and I could either continue or open an existing project. The beauty about this is if somebody goes about and says, you know what, I'm gonna export this here as actually my version two, I'll just call it V2, okay? because I'm, I'm quite interested in seeing what happens if I did any changes. Now, of course, here in this particular case, maybe the change wires are not within the wires that I already installed. So if I go actually here and I say, let's update this project with my version two, 
maybe there aren't going to be any changes. If there are, here you can see the values. So here, of course, you can see the to be updated wires, okay? To remove wires, none. I didn't touch them to add. So it's basically ha coming up with 11 updates. None of these wires, by all means, have been really uh, installed. So I can just update them. And now my project is updated. My five wires are not necessarily touched. The wiring list has been updated. And I can just go in there and work. Of course, you can see here we have a few different wires that have been modified, updated. The status is a little bit different here. And your goal is, of course, to just continue on these wires. This was actually the next level of what ePlan Smart Wiring can do for you. Updating the wires. While I have things already on the go in manufacturing, I can still do something on the design side. Really a cool feature.